Happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, December the 1st, 2022. Today's daily Bible readings come to us from Psalm 72, 1 through 7, and then 18 through 19, Isaiah 4, 2 through 6, and then Acts 1, 12 through 17, and 21 through 26. I'm going to take a look at Isaiah um, 4, 2 through 6, and talk about Exodus, because that's what I do lull you into this false sense of security like oh okay i know what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about isaiah and the first thing i do is start talking about exodus but you know that's um you know it's just how the bible works sometimes i mentioned before how god seems uh he seems kind of wistful for those you know his backpacking days through the sinai peninsula with his you know israelite peeps um uh that uh that's a you know seminal moment in the life of Israel. That's the time where God really, I mean, they had kind of grown up as a nation in Egypt, but that's the time where God really pulled them together as a nation, spent a lot of time discipling in them and disciplining them in the wilderness. So, uh, But that image of him in the wilderness with them shows up kind of over and over again, and it's, I think that's what's going on here. It's this it's kind of symbolizes his hope for the future of Zion or the, or Jerusalem Zion. When you hear the word Zion, you can kind of understand that he's talking about Jerusalem and the temple and all that, uh, the nation of Judea. Right. So, but also Israel, but not Israel, like Israel in the sense of like the descendants of Israel, not like the Northern kingdom of Israel or the nation of Israel. So, but anyway, this symbolizes his hope for them, for Zion. It's, that's what we're talking about here. It's this, this vision of a cleansed city, a renewed city um, that will have this familiar look about it. Uh, and he starts talking about how, you know, I'm going to cleanse it. And upon Zion, there's, um, there's going to be, you know, I'll will be present with them and there'll be a pillar of fire. You know, and there's going to be a column of smoke by day and a pillar of fire by night. And then a canopy over it all. Well, what does that sound like? It sounds like the wilderness wanderings of the Jewish people. Oh, I should say of the Hebrew people. Um, Jewish people is a very specific term for a specific, after a specific period. But, you know, that's, that's how he led them through the wilderness was with this pillar of cloud by day or smoke. And then this pillar of fire by night. And when he was ready for them to stop, that pillar and would rest over the Ark of the Covenant. And wherever that Ark of the Covenant was supposed to stop, that's where they would throw up the tabernacle and they would build a canopy around it. And so it's this image of it's just, you know, what he's looking for is that it's going to be just like the tabernacle in the wilderness. Um, but not, you know, it's not just going to be on the spot where the temple used to be. It's going to be over all of Jerusalem. It's going to the whole city of Jerusalem, the whole that will be the new temple. The, the whole city will become the home of God's presence. Um, and so, yeah, you, you kind of got to talk about Exodus when you're talking about Isaiah's words. And guess what? When you get to the end of the Bible and you read Revelation, this language is all going to sound really familiar again. So anyway, that's the DVR for today. Get out and enjoy the day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.